Now then folks, how are you doing? Uh, it's James, JT at the movies, back again. Uh, this is my second solo vlog and I thought today that I'd talk about a film that I watched for the first time last night. Uh, a film called Deja Vu. Um, it's a film I've had in my collection for ooh, years now, I couldn't put a number to it. Um, but it's one of those ones that I bought on a whim years ago and thought yeah I'll, I'll pick this up and I'll watch it at some point. And then recently me and my uh, my good friend Phil, sometimes known as Twig, um, did a, a movie marathon where we watched all of Harrison Ford's movies. and. Um, one of the, the Harrison Ford movies had the trailer for Deja Vu attached to it uh, on the DVD. Um, and both me and my pal were like, ooh, looks, looks alright, does that? And I, I suddenly remembered that I had the DVD in my film. So anyway, flash forward to, to last night, my, my partner was out, um, she goes bell ringing at a local church, and I decided I'd, uh, I'd stick the, uh, the film on and have a, have a watch. And do you know, I really enjoyed it. It wasn't, it wasn't a bad film at all, it was... Um, it was a bit silly in parts, I'm not going to lie, the initial premise um, of them sort of tracking the, the bomber through security and the fact that the security cameras, or supposed security cameras, were so high def that they would, uh, you know, they'd only work four days in the past and that's why they only had this limited window to try and find the guy. Um, I thought that was an interesting premise and I thought that they brought obviously Denzel Washington's character in who's an ATF agent called Doug and they bring him in because he initially finds the body of a lady called Claire who it's actually staged to look like she's involved in the in the, the blowing, you know, the, the bomb uh, the explosion at the beginning of the film um, and when they bring his character in Val Kilmer plays the FBI agent in charge and those two work together uh, quite well. I think where the film lost it for me is about halfway through Denzel Washington sort of gets this idea that perhaps they're not just looking at video footage but maybe they're actually looking at a window into the past and he, he tests his theory by shining a laser pointer at the screen so as that the, the character that they're watching the video which is the girl Claire who turned up dead at the beginning of the, of the film uh, could see it and sure enough she sees it and then the FBI sort of realised that actually they've got this time machine but they've never been able to send humans back into it and there are all sorts of restrictions so it's not like, you know, they, they even say in the film they can't go back and see who the second gunman was or, um, you know, I can't remember there's other historical events that they, they reference and, and yeah, um, it sort of gets a little bit, bit far-fetched and a bit silly at that point but still very enjoyable um, you know, Denzel Washington uh, is a really good leading man. The supporting cast, you know, Val Kilmer's the name that comes to mind. I can't remember the name of the actress that plays the the, the young lady Claire in it. I, I, I could be wrong. Is it Paula Patton? That, that name's ringing a bell. Anyway, I'll put a title underneath if I'm, uh, you know, if, if I'm if I'm mistaken. But they they play off each other really well. Um, and Jim Caviezel plays the who, who's revealed to be the big bad, uh, believes himself to be a patriot, and that he's you know uh, making this explosion happen um, in the name of his beliefs and all that sort of thing. Um, it's just a bit of a, a bit of a run of the mill sort of action, sort of with a hint of sci-fi, sort of uh, sort of a bit of a thriller really, uh, and I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, it's directed by the uh, the late great Tony Scott. Um, and yeah, even for its silliness, I quite enjoyed it. Um, like I say, I sort of lost my way a little bit with it halfway through, and thought, oh, okay, it's got a little bit too silly. But even still, I, I enjoyed it, and I would, I would recommend, I would recommend watching it. Do you know? I think I'd give that one a six out of ten. Uh, and if you've not seen it, it's uh, it's worth a punt on a on a night where you've nothing else to do. <laughs> So thank you very much for uh, for watching there, folks. If you've uh, if you've enjoyed my ramblings, as I said in the last one, I'm quite new to this, especially uh, doing it on my own. Uh, I will, when I get my movie space at home sorted out, shoot some videos there and let you see the DVD and Blu-ray collection. For now, I'm just waiting for my sister to finish work, so I'm uh, I'm sat in the car killing time. Uh, and I thought I'd uh, take the opportunity while it was there. Um, any any feedback, any suggestions? would be would be more than welcome um happy to engage in any sort of discussions in the in the commentary but thank you very much for watching if you have done uh, take care and i'll see you next time cheers